Hi guys, Mary here. Today is the 22nd of November and I thought it would be fun to do a soul path reading. So if you don't know your soul path number, um, there are numbers between one and nine and you just add up your date of birth. So if your date of birth is January 1st, 1960, you would add up one plus one plus one plus nine plus six. Um, if your numbers add up to like 23 or 13 or whatever, you just add those again together till you get one number. So this is a reading for the soul path number two, and this is for the month of December. You can also check out, um, you can just Google the soul path numbers and read about yourself. It's pretty interesting. And we will start there. Oh, okay. I want me to go here. I'm going to do an Oracle card first. Okay. This is from Sea and Soul Illumination Oracle deck available on Etsy. Um, you can go to Lighthouse Healer if you're interested. It's a deck that I created. All right, Heavenly Angels, please show us guidance for Soul Path number two for December 2021. Thank you so much. We'll do two cards. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> it's interesting because the first card up is Leap of Faith. So there's something that um, you're being guided to um, go out on a limb and try or take some sort of leap of faith in something that you're thinking about doing. Um, this could be a move, a change in career, a relationship, not sure. But it says rest and rejuvenate. We got uh, the card rest and rejuvenate. Oops, little doggy there resting on the sofa. So I feel like what Spirit is saying here is, um, you may be thinking of something that you want to do and you may have to take a little time to kind of sit with it, meditate on it, kind of formulate a plan. It's like you want to take that leap of faith, but maybe just hang back for a little bit and um, think about it, um, do some soul searching and you will be ready in divine timing to take that leap of faith. That's what I'm getting. Number two. So leap of faith, the card is number 27. Two plus seven adds up to nine. And that's a number about closing a chapter, finishing something up. And the rest and rejuvenate adds up to number eight. And that's all about um, limited possibilities, lim unlimited possibilities, unlimited potential for you. Okay, number two, let's do four tarot cards. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Sun, and Nine of Cups. Wow, you guys. We have the Temperance card. This is at the bottom of the deck. So it's the overall energy for you for the month of December. Um, that is a card of balance. It's a card of you may have to be patient. I feel like um, maybe you're thinking of taking a leap of faith and spirit is saying, be patient, um, wait for divine timing, go within, really sit with it. Um, but there is a new beginning that you will be starting and it's financial um, or material. It's earth energy. This is the ace of pentacles. So you're starting something new, brand new. And I feel like that's that leap of faith that you're going to be taking. Um, we have the seven of cups right next to that. So I feel like um, there's different options for you. And I feel like that's why spirit really wants you to rest and sit with it and look at your different options or different opportunities coming in and, and really sitting with that and knowing what it is that you really want. Um, once you know what you want, like write it down, put out your intentions, um, You'll have time to formulate a plan before taking that leap of faith. And we have the sun card as an outcome. So um, the sun is all about clarity, the sun shining down on, you know, on what it is that you're doing. And it's right next to the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. So whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, take that leap of faith, but do it with, um, not caution, but um, just make sure you have all your ducks in a row and um, you have a plan and you know what you want. <laughs> That's all. all right, number two, please show us guidance for number two. So path number two. 
for the month of December 2021. No place like home. Oops, no place like home. So the first thing that came to mind for me is that home is where the heart is. So if you're thinking of moving to another home um, and you're not sure if you, this isn't for everybody, but some of you are perhaps thinking of moving and you wanna take that leap of faith um, and you may be you know, a little nervous about it, take time to reflect, go within. Um, but I think some of you, if you take that leap of faith and you do make that move, it could be a, a, a move to a new home, a new apartment, buying a new home, selling a home, something like that. Um, it is going to work out in your favor with the sun card and the nine of cups. Okay. So I will pull a card for, um, I guess let's just revisit this. Um, home is where the heart is. So you may be a little bit in, in fear of moving to a new home, um, but just know that wherever you go, there you are. Um, it's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm just seeing like um, um, someone who's young, like leaving their home for the first time, like they live with their parents, but they're moving out. So if that's you, um, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, okay. And it's a time of transformation. If you're making this move, it's going to be very transformative for you. Okay. So spirit, what energy surrounds number two from month of December? Thank you so much. And we have dual cool, Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. So take that leap of faith, um, one step at a time. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there, number two. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a comment below if you resonate with this soul, soul number reading. Thanks so much, take care, namaste.